This summer, we're getting honest about summer blockbusters, past and present. This is Honest Trailers Blockbuster Summer. You love being whisked away to the fantasy worlds of Tolkien, Henson, and all the dead author's estates that Walt Disney ripped off. Now, embark on an epic tale of magic and romance in the Brothers Grimm tradition in that it's bleak, depressing, and thoroughly German. The never-ending story. Journey to a world of never-ending misery, where the heroes are bullied, the locations need therapy. A desert of shattered hopes, the deadly swamps of sadness. And existence is collapsing in on itself like a Fortnite storm made of nihilism. The nothing! To the point where horses literally drown themselves in sadness. Fight against the sadness, Artex! That horse didn't actually drown, but it's the kind of movie that really makes you think they wanted to. Die? That at least would be something. Thanks to Fantasia's lax child labor laws, only two small boys and one little girl will fight against the nothing. There's Bastion, armed with a magic book, and the bowl cut of every young male protagonist from 1973 to 1998. He'll haul up in his school's creepy hookup attic to pull a fanfic 101 and do a self-insert as the savior of the universe. What a Marty stew. And saddle up with... You got a movie, you die! Oh man, too soon. And right along with Atreyu, a young warrior from the Tiger Beat tribe. He'll get himself absolutely wrecked from start to finish. <laughs> Yet he was still able to overcome impossible odds and become Harry Potter Jr. in the movie Troll. Experience a story about the power of storytelling itself that's really weak in the storytelling department. What? It's a bunch of random obstacles, then it ends out of nowhere. It's got all the dynamics of a Super Mario level. But what it lacks in depth, it makes up for in meta wankery. Ah! Because their world is powered by the imagination of Bastion's world, and Bastion's world is powered by the imagination of our world, which in turn sparks the audience's imagination because we're watching both of their worlds, joining us all together in a never-ending, uh, story jerk. So grab a sandwich, eat an entire apple core, ugh, and curl up under a blanket for one of the weirdest hits of the 80s that you mostly remember for the amazing Luck Dragon. As in, it's amazing luck that the FBI never seized his computer. I like children. You were unconscious, and you talked in your sleep. And rocking out to the dope Giorgio Moroder score. But you may not remember that this story didn't truly end. No, it had a sequel with Jonathan Brandis, a threequel starring Jack Black. And both of them ignored the second half of the book it's based on, where Bastion becomes a power-hungry madman that tries to take over the kingdom. Wow, that's dark even for this story. Let's just end with some happy Falcor shots. I won't give up! Don't quit! No! Starring Reading Lamo, Deep V, Bing Bong, Great Atuin, The Wolf Who Cried Boy. I'm Cork, I'm made of rocks, as you can see. The first time you read The Red Wedding. Say my name, say my name. Half one storm in the storm. Turbo the Racing Snail. That one goblin from Labyrinth. Booby Trap. The biggest block of butter we've ever seen. Badly dubbed lines. Night Hob, this could be serious. Rockbiter! Gumby! Mickey Mouse! E.T. C-3PO! Wait, what is this, Ready Player One? And how your mom watches TV! What? But that's impossible! Be confident! Run train! Run! I'm trying to watch, Mom! Shut up! My beautiful, dark, twisted Fantasia! I think I know what killed Bastion's mom. Salmonella! The name's Voice Guy. Epic Voice Guy. Doofenshmirtz Evil Incorporated. I'm done saying things at the end of these videos, so stop asking. Liar, liar, pants on fire.